I'm Monica Quintero. A nice day here in the Permian Basin with mild temperatures. This is a live view just outside of our studio here in Odessa. You can see partly cloudy conditions, but again, those temperatures are pretty nice out there. Of course, this is courtesy of the West Texas State Bank Weather Cam. Let's go ahead and take a look at your headlines. I think you're going to like the temperatures this week. We are going to be on a warming trend. We have a lot of 80 degree temperatures to talk about. We do have some rain chances, and that does include some thunderstorms. We're also not really out the possibility of some severe weather. We'll get to that when we get to our seven day forecast. And those winds are going to be picking up. We do have some very gusty days in the forecast. I'm going to let you know which days to look out for. So, as you can see right now, we have some light winds out there, not too bad. Tonight, that's going to be the same case as well. You can see Wink only at about nine miles per hour. Now, tomorrow afternoon, those winds begin to pick up quite a bit. You can see about 19 miles per hour in Odessa and Midland and 20 miles per hour right there in Big Spring. We're going to fast forward to Wednesday. You can see very gusty wind conditions out there in many areas, about 26 miles per hour in Guadalupe Pass. 23 miles per hour in Wink and about 21 miles per hour in Odessa and Medlin. So those winds currently coming from the south, shifting to the southwest, and then of course shifting back to the south, but very light winds today until tomorrow morning. It's Wednesday. We're going to really see those wind conditions pick up. So those temperatures right now, mild conditions for the most part in the 60s out there, about 62 in Odessa, Medlin, 64 in Wink. You can see 59 in Guadalupe Pass, the warm spots, Presidio, and of course, Big Bend at 74 degrees. The Almanac showing temperatures a little bit cooler than what we typically see this time of year. The high 62 degrees Normally, we see it about 75 degrees. That low, pretty cold this morning, about 35 degrees. Usually, we see it about 45 degrees. And, of course, that record of 99 degrees. Northern Basin, you can see those lows in the 40s and 50s. So, it will be a cold, mild morning, depending on what area. So, you may want to take a light jacket. But, of course, those temperatures will be well above freezing. Those highs in the 70s and 80s. The Central Basin, you can see those lows in the 40s and 50s. 50 expected right there in Pinwell and 52 expected right there in Crane. Warming up nicely tomorrow. We're going to see those temperatures go up quite a bit. You can see in the 70s and 80s, those are the highs that are expected. Trans-Pecos, those lows will be in the 40s and 50s. You can see 52 expected right there in Fort Stockton. Warm temperatures as well in the 70s and 80s. 85 right there in Balmoray and 86 expected in Pecos. So those temperatures keep rising. You can see the mountains, those lows in the 40s and 50s, and those highs warming up nicely to the 70s and 80s. So after a very cold weekend, it's nice to have those warm temperatures back. Of course, it seems like we're always on this roller coaster ride, but the seven day forecast does look a little bit better. 8 a.m., those temperatures will be in the 40s. By noon, we will be in the 60s. And by 4 p.m., we will warm up to the 70s with some partly cloudy conditions. Tomorrow's low will be a little bit warmer, so you may want to take a light jacket still. It'll be a cold and mild morning. We're going to have partly sunny skies, and those winds will be about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Of course, that very windy day once again on Wednesday, but tomorrow those winds will begin to pick up. So Tuesday, that high 78 degrees. Wednesday, you can see we are in the 80s. Now, Friday is the day we're most concerned about. You can see that high expected to be 82 degrees, but we do have a 60% chance of some thunderstorms and showers in the forecast. Right now, you guys, we're not ruling out the possibility of severe weather. We're going to be keeping a close eye on those models, but Friday into Saturday, we are expecting wet weather. All right, so Friday is the day to look out for, and hopefully these 80s are here to stay. We've had some cold weather, some hot weather going back and forth. But. Let's hope so, and it's nice to see even the 50s in the morning hours because, remember, we dropped to below freezing in some areas mm -hmm. over the weekend, so yeah. we've had some very cold temperatures on the weekend, and now we're back on that warming trend. Yeah. We're in April. Four days, though, of sunny weather, and then Friday mm -hmm. comes, so we'll Be prepared. enjoy it while we can. All right, Monica, thank you. Well, the dating app.